Picture a miniature world on the leaves and stems of plants, a place bustling with tiny, fascinating creatures. Now imagine ants acting as caretakers, tending to tiny green insects known as aphids in exchange for a sugary treat. While ants and aphids might seem like an odd match, they've developed a partnership that's not only unique, but also incredibly beneficial for both of them. Welcome to another episode of Bugs, Buzz, and Beyond, where we're diving deep into one of nature's most unexpected and intriguing relationships. Let's discover how ants and aphids have come to rely on each other in ways that make the natural world seem almost like a well-organized society. Aphids are tiny insects, sometimes known as plant lice, and they have a remarkable ability to drain sap from plants. Equipped with straw-like mouthparts, aphids can puncture plant stems to access the nutrient-rich sap within. For these little creatures, sap is a perfect source of food. Filled with the sugars and minerals they need to thrive. But there's a catch. Aphids consume so much sugar that they excrete a surplus as a sticky, sweet liquid known as honeydew. And while it might sound a bit odd, this honeydew is exactly what attracts their unlikely partners, ants. So, how do ants and aphids first connect? Well, when ants come across a colony of aphids, they quickly discover this sticky substance being produced. Ants have a serious sweet tooth, and for them, honeydew is like stumbling upon an all-you-can-eat dessert buffet. Ants begin to milk the aphids by gently tapping them with their antennae, which prompts the aphids to release more honeydew. This interaction marks the start of a mutually beneficial relationship, with ants returning regularly for their sugary fix. For ants, the benefits of this relationship are immediate and rewarding. Honeydew is rich in carbohydrates, which provides ants with the energy they need to stay active and support their growing colonies. Ants work together to transport the honeydew back to their nests, where they can share it with other colony members, feeding everyone from the workers to the queen. In some ant species, this food-sharing routine becomes so ingrained that the colony develops a whole farming system, carefully managing their aphid partners to maximize their honeydew supply. But what's in it for the aphids? In exchange for providing honeydew, aphids gain a valuable form of protection. Ants act as bodyguards for aphids, warding off common predators like ladybugs, spiders, and other insects that might see aphids as an easy meal. Whenever danger approaches, ants are quick to step in, fighting off these predators and protecting their valuable food source. This symbiotic protection is crucial for the aphids' survival, as they have few natural defenses of their own. Thanks to the ants, aphids can focus on feeding without constantly having to fear for their lives. But ants go even further than just providing basic protection. They act as true caregivers for their aphid partners. When food sources become scarce, ants will relocate aphids to fresh, juicy parts of plants so they can continue producing honeydew. Some ant species are so committed to their aphid partners that they even carry them underground during winter to shelter them from the cold. When spring arrives, ants bring the aphids back out and help them establish a new colony on fresh plants. 
This isn't just cooperation. It's almost like the ants are farming their own livestock. This remarkable relationship between ants and aphids is a textbook example of what scientists call mutualism. A symbiotic relationship where both species benefit and become dependent on each other. Aphids provide a reliable, energy-rich food source in the form of honeydew, while ants offer a level of protection and care that allows aphid populations to thrive. Through this cooperative bond, ants and aphids have adapted to a partnership that enhances their survival, creating a balanced, interconnected mini-ecosystem that flourishes across seasons. Now, while this partnership is beneficial for both ants and aphids, it can come at a cost to the plants they live on. Aphids feed on plant sap, and large colonies can weaken plants by draining too much of it. This causes leaves to wilt, yellow, and sometimes become stunted. Because ants protect the aphids from predators, aphid populations can grow unchecked, which may lead to significant damage to the host plant. This can become especially problematic in agricultural areas, where farmers often have to find ways to manage both ants and aphids to protect their crops. The ant-aphid relationship is just one of many examples of mutualism in the insect world. We can see similar partnerships in other species, like bees and flowers, where bees collect nectar and pollinate plants, or termites and protozoa, where tiny organisms in termite guts help digest tough plant material. Insects have developed countless ways of working together across species to adapt and thrive. It's incredible to think about how even the smallest creatures have found ways to collaborate and form these partnerships to ensure their survival. The story of ants and aphids is a fascinating reminder of how interconnected life can be, even on a miniature scale. These two species, each with its own needs and resources, have come together in a partnership that's based on trust, cooperation, and survival. By exchanging protection for food, ants and aphids have created a model of mutual dependency that's as complex as it is simple. It's a testament to the wonders of nature and a reminder that even among insects, cooperation can be the key to thriving. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.